Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. An Arkansas man pleaded guilty this week to the 2022 murder of his girlfriend's young son, whose body was buried under the floorboards of their family home, authorities said. On Monday, July 15, Nathan Bridges, 34, pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and first-degree battery in the death of five-year-old Blue Roland, according to a statement from Arkansas State Police. Bridges was subsequently sentenced to 60 years in prison. Blue's body was found on December 16, 2022 under the floorboards of the Morrow, Arkansas, home, located about 85 miles east of Little Rock, police said. That day also would have been the boy's sixth birthday, according to police. Arkansas State Police previously said the boy died of injuries likely sustained in the home about three months prior, but an arrest affidavit stated the boy was drowned in a toilet in the home, our channel previously reported. According to the affidavit, which was previously reviewed by our channel, the boy's mother, Ashley Rowland, allegedly told deputies at first that Blue was not at home when they were there to perform a civil standby. However, she allegedly eventually confessed to her father that the boy was dead inside of the home and that his remains were located under the newly nailed floorboards, the affidavit claims. She had allegedly told her dad the boy had collapsed and died, according to the affidavit. When deputies went back to the home in hopes of finding the boy alive, they found a child's flip-flops and a blanket underneath the floorboards, as well as the smell of decay after sifting through the top layer of soil, according to the affidavit. In an interview with detectives, Roland allegedly claimed Blue died in September after he bit Bridges' finger. As a punishment, Bridges stuck the little boy's head repeatedly into the toilet until he drowned, according to the affidavit. Want to keep up with the latest crime coverage? Sign up for our channel's free true crime newsletter for breaking crime news, ongoing trial coverage and details of intriguing unsolved cases. Both Roland and Bridges were then arrested and charged in connection with Blue's death. While Bridges has pleaded guilty, Roland, 30, is still awaiting trial in Lee County, police said. She faces a slew of charges including capital murder, permitting child abuse, abuse of a corpse, tampering with physical evidence, endangering the welfare of a minor, and battery. It's unclear if she has entered a plea and our channel couldn't immediately identify an attorney who could speak on her behalf. In the wake of the boy's death, a GoFundMe campaign was created to help support Blue's grandmother with funeral and other expenses. If you suspect child abuse, call the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-4, child or 1-800-422-4453, or go to www.childhelp.org. All calls are toll-free and confidential. The hotline is available 24-7 in more than 170 languages.